My name is Kaylin Wilson, and I'm a research assistant at the University of Kentucky. The main focus of our research in the Joe Lab group is the events that occur in the ovary following the LH surge. So the processes that occur to bring about ovulation and luteinization. And to study these processes, we utilize um, mouse and human models. The topic of this paper is core binding factors in the mouse ovary. Core binding factors are a family of nuclear transcription factors, which are composed of two subunits. One of three RUNCS subunits, either RUNCS1, RUNCS2, or RUNCS3. These are the DNA binding subunits. And an invariable beta subunit known as core binding factor beta. Now we know that in mice, rats, and humans, expression of RUNCS1 and RUNCS2 is increased by LH or HCG stimulation in the ovary. So this leads us to suspect that there may be a role for core binding factors in bringing about processes of ovulation and luteinization. So in this particular paper, we wanted to utilize a LOXP pre-recombinase model to generate a granulosa cell-specific knockdown of core binding factors in the mouse ovary. To do this, we chose to knock down the beta subunit, as this unit is invariable, and it will allow us to impede the activity of all core binding factors present in the mouse ovary. After verification of our knockout model, we proceeded to examine the phenotypes of our knockout mice um, regarding fertility and fecundity. Produce fewer pups per litter, fewer pups overall during the entire course of our mating period. They also have lower serum progesterone levels during pregnancy, some dysregulation in their estrus cycling, as well as fewer cumulus oocyte complexes collected following superovulation. So there are many phenotypic abnormalities to be noted in these mice. Notably, 20% of our knockdown mice are completely infertile. Following our phenotypic studies, we moved into an in vitro model where we treated isolated granulosa cells with HCG for 12 or 24 hours. This allowed us to perform RNA sequencing on those samples from both mutant and wild type mice and compare gene expression in the transcriptome. So we see numerous changes in the transcriptome, about 2,000 and 3,000 differentially expressed genes at 12 and 24 hours respectively. Some of the most notable of these genes include the LH receptor, prolactin receptor, several prostaglandin synthases, some endothelial lipases and other genes related to steroidogenic processes, and members of the epidermal growth factor-like peptide family. Following our transcriptomics analysis, we moved back into an in vivo model to examine the ovarian morphology in both PMSG HCG primed and naturally cycling animals. Now in both of these cases, we see that the knockdown mice show reduced expression of LH receptor mRNA and SFRP4 protein in corpora lutea. Also, in the PMSG HCG primed mice, we see the presence of large antral follicles at three days post HCG, indicating some failure to ovulate. In naturally cycling animals, we see a marked accumulation of lipid in corpora lutea via oil red staining, indicating that there may be some issue with steroidogenesis in these animals. The accumulation of lipid was especially pronounced in those animals which were determined to be infertile during their breeding period. We believe that these data contribute valuable knowledge to the area of ovarian physiology and the understanding of the processes of ovulation and luteinization. Thank you very much for watching.